The Climate Smart Agriculture and Rural Enterprise Program, SIAP, collaborated with the St. Patrick Organization for Development, SPOD, and the JCS Enterprises to host a sustainable training program for CMOS farming, highlighting the three techniques can be used to get the best results. We have more in this report. The training, which took place at the Sutter's Breakwater last week, focused primarily on cultivating and managing Gracilaria CMOS, showcasing three cultivation methods, the monoline system, and two variations of the bamboo raft system. Participants received detailed instructions on essential techniques, such as tying and spacing, which are crucial for successful cultivation and higher yield. The event received support from Roderick St. Clair, the Agriculture and Fisheries Representative in the Senate. He encouraged the use of sustainable farming techniques in this venture. And if we can grow these things in Grenada in a sustainable way, which is what I'm seeing here, you know, using the bamboo, you know, and all of those things, this is excellent. But not only that, the, the, the sort of research um, our good brother, uh, Mr. Noel and, and others have shown us today, it means that even among ourselves, we can continue to do our own technique. But how do we do it amidst protecting the turtles, the fishing, because those are challenges that are unique to our space. In response to the persistent issue of radio larceny affecting CMOS farmers, Kenley Edwards, the CSA coordinator at SIEP, has emphasized the urgent need for the passing of the radio larceny amendment act to address this problem. This is something that must be addressed because this is a livelihood and when someone puts the effort into a particular production and then for them to suffer these losses, it could be disheartening and we know that this is a very lucrative, um, um, if I may say, product that has several benefits, benefits that is good for us as humans to consume, and I want us to continue to support. During the event, the floating raft method was emphasized as the most effective approach for cultivating CMOS. Donnell Noel, the facilitator for the training, highlighted the use of bamboo rafts instead of process flotation devices and netting to protect the CMOS from potential harm. Now the bamboo raft method allows us to be as efficient and environmentally friendly as possible. It allows our lines that we cultivate Timos on to be very close without causing any major disturbance. For instance, them getting intertwined and the Timos breaking off and so forth. And the bamboo is not a pollutant, so if it breaks free or it gets loose for whatever reason, that bamboo will bio, is, is biodegradable and will decompose without causing any pollution. SPOD organized the event with the aim of promoting sustainable self-employment opportunities for the residents of St. Patrick. Jefferson David, the president of the organization, encouraged more individuals from the parish to engage in CMOS farming. They have the saying that St. Patrick's are the poorest set of people. But um, if, if the people get involved into the production of CMOS planting and stuff, um, I think we could get out of this saying that we are poor, um, and I think that we can, we can benefit from it. Um, I myself um, was never interested in it, but coming here today and learning so much, um, I have a boat myself. I decided to go up the island and start planting. I just spoke to Mr. Merriman. Um, in terms of planting. So um, the people around the area can get involved. Um, and I think that's, that's a good thing for the parish.